What's up guys, this is J7 with another video here. I wanted to let you guys know that this is Artillery's Out of the Sky bass solo that they briefly do in, in the song, so let's get started. <laughs> So a couple of things here. First of all, it'll be funny to see this big, famous, rich YouTuber from Italy called Davey504 criticize me for not playing the bass solo fast enough. Anyways, I only played it slow to medium so that way you can learn how to play this bass solo because it's a really amazing bass solo and it's one of my all time favorite bass solos in any song and it might be brief but it's the bass solo before the guitar solo it's truly a wonderful bass solo also if you want to play at his speed and the way he did it in the song definitely use a pick it's something that you would have to play a lot faster on i mean with a pick you can easily go like this so what my music teacher and I did is we played it on his bass guitar. Hopefully I'll get a bass guitar soon because that'd be a lot of fun. But we were able to break down everything and we were able to listen to his bass solo and determine where to put your fingers and what the proper notes are. So. I will leave those notes in the description below. So secondly, the notes for this are D, C on the first string, A, G on the second string, F, E on the third string, and F, G on both the third and second strings. So this is a bass solo that is definitely played on the pentatonic scale with the exception of the E notes. So basically that's the only note out of the ordinary of the pentatonic scale. So my guess would be that this bassist really knew guitar very well for many years and he was able to pick up bass easily because he was a guitarist for so many years. I want to thank this man for making this bass solo possible in that album and he rocks so the third thing is many of you are probably wondering why i did not wear my artillery t-shirt for this video first being is that i was in my work clothes and i work in a warehouse where i didn't want that shirt to get damaged because it was a very rare hard shirt to find and it's one of my all-time favorite shirts i just love this shirt secondly this shirt means a lot to me as does this band and thirdly if you had one of your favorite shirts you wouldn't want to be working in a warehouse environment where it could get damaged easily either anyways that's all i have for you guys today We'd appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Um, that would really appreciate me. And hopefully you will see another video from me in a week. But I will forewarn you that I'm going to be on mandatory overtime this upcoming week. So if you don't see a video from me, that's why. But glad you enjoyed my video always and have a wonderful blessed week.